everybody this is Alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen this is really my home you know we're not a studio audience which means I do the cleanup anyway I just find it funny because people leave comments and I just wanted to say that sorry uh, today I'm going to make you something that's absolutely delicious even before tasting it I know it is and I'm going to be making you cognac lobster cream sauce to eat over lobster raviolis. I went to the market, saw these beautiful lobster raviolis, and I knew exactly the perfect sauce to make with it. So let's get started with the ingredients. A small shot glass of cognac, that's the first thing right here. And okay, so first things we're gonna add is three tablespoons of butter, and it's salted butter. I have three shallots that I've chopped, the clove of a garlic, then I have the two lobster tails, I have two cups of heavy cream, and one cup of passata di pomodoro. You could also use a plum uh, tomato, squeeze it with your hand, or uh, put it through the uh, immersion blender. So, simple ingredients, fresh parcel when I make my fish is always a must. Meet me right over the stove and let's get started. This is a recipe that you want gentle cooking. So I have the heat on uh, medium. I'm gonna start adding the butter. And while that's getting melted and warming up, I'm going to already add my shallots and my garlic in. Okay, like that. You want gentle because you want the uh, the onion, the shallots to uh, sweat, and you don't want the garlic to burn, so it really needs to be on a gentle heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of the salt, just so that it, it really starts the process of cooking. It already smells so sweet and delicious. It's a wonderful combination. With a scissor, I'm just going to take the lobster tail and make three pieces. And I will cook it with the skin on, and then I will remove it because the, the skin, the shell of the lobster is a lot of flavor. So I want that in there. Here's the first three pieces. Now I'm going to do the, uh, the second three pieces. Now be careful not to get any shells in because you don't want to be eating the shells. Just get it right in between where it folds. That's where you want the scissor to go. See, just kind of, see that? Right there. See that? And you're not getting any of the shell pieces like that. Isn't that perfect? While I was doing the lobster, the uh, shallots and garlic are sauteing beautifully. Look at that, that's exactly the color you want. I'm going to add the lobster pieces in now. As soon as the lobster tails turn color, what I'm going to do is add my cognac right in. Okay, but this is what you want now. You want it to. Okay. There you go. That's exactly what you want. Perfect. Now we're ready for the next step. Okay, I'm removing the details, okay? And the reason is that because I'm going to remove the shell and I just want the pulp. So here it goes. The tails are removed and I'm going to add my passata di pomodoro. Lower the flame, you don't want it burning. Okay, and let it cook. I'm going to say four or five minutes. Just let it cook gently until the oil comes up. If you need, just add a little bit of water. Rinse the container where I add the passata in and put it in. It's, you don't want it too dry. So you want it like this. Take a look. 
Okay, and let it cook gently. Taking the lobster pulp out, out of the shell. I love kitchen scissors. I would not be able to cook without the kitchen scissors. I use them for multiple things, even for cutting pizza. Nothing better, and chicken cutlets. So you see, the skin is coming off, and the pulp is right here. The sauce is cooking beautifully. I'm going to cut up the pieces of lobster, because what I want is that every piece of ravioli, you get a little piece of the lobster with it. So this is exactly what I'm doing now. It's a delicate, tender meat, so it cooks quickly. Don't overcook it, otherwise it's going to be very rubbery. So here it goes. Okay. Let's get it finished cooking. In the tomato. Now, it's a perfect time to go ahead and put a large pot of water for uh, to cook the raviolis. It's been cooking for about seven, eight minutes. Now it's time to add the cream. Now I've reserved two cups of the cream. I'm just gonna higher the flame a little bit. I don't want it to boil, but I don't want it to not do anything either. Okay, so I'm gonna add the two cups of the cream. Now, also, I wanna tell you a little bit about this. The worst thing you could tell an Italian person my I cook, I'm not a chef, uh, I'm a mother, I'm a housewife, I'm a friend, I love to cook. But it's very hard to get the measurements down. That was one of the biggest difficulties for me making the videos because you gotta uh, pretty much get everything out. I don't really follow recipes, but I follow colors, a taste, what I see. Even when I go food shop, I never say, oh, today I'm making this. It's what I find at the market, what calls to me, what appeals to me, what's in season, and that's how I cook. And the re okay, long story short, the reason why I'm telling you is because I put in two cups of the heavy cream. Now, I might add a little bit more, and I want you to do the same. If you feel that it needs a little bit more, go ahead, do add it. So um, that's why I'm saying. So I've added the two cups. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. And you know what? I think it's too red for my, for my liking. I'm gonna add a little bit more cream, but I will measure it for you. I'm going to do half a cup, and then I'll see if it's the desired color that I want. Okay, just a little bit more. I'm gonna say three quarters of a cup. So we put in two and three quarters of a cup of the cream. Come closer, I want you to take a look exactly how it's supposed to look, look like, the colors and everything. Now what I'm going to do is taste it, lucky me, and it needs more salt. When I make seafood, I usually go easy on the salt because uh, it has its own natural salt and you don't want to do it, overdo it. So here it goes, the salt is in. Fresh cracked black pepper is a must. And now uh, the pot is boiling with water. I'm going to drop the raviolis right in, but I'm gonna salt the water before that and that's up to you uh, how much salt you add. Let's add the ravioli in. Now, I read on the package it takes four minutes, so I'm going to time it because I do not want to overcook them and because if I do, they'll tend to open. So let's just get in the min. There you go. Be careful, don't. It will splatter back, so be careful not to burn yourself. Okay. Lid back on to pick up uh, the boil again, and we'll check back in four minutes. The four minutes have passed, the ravioli looks great. I don't like to drain them over the sink because they're very delicate. So I like to get a vota pesce, a skimmer, and just gently remove them from the water. I have a ladle over a bowl just to make it really nice and easy. Okay, let's move on to the next step. 
gently adding it to my cognac lobster sauce. Oh, wow. I wish you were here that I could share my food with everybody. Very so gently. Maybe just higher the heat a little bit. Chopping in some fresh parsley and the rest we'll use to garnish on top. We're done. We're ready to eat. It looks fantastic. I'm going to finally taste it. I did not taste it at all throughout the cooking except before with the salt. So let me just have a little piece right now. Wow, delicioso. Sweet and delicious and so powerful with the lobster flavor in it. Es perfecto. Please make it. Make it your loved ones will love you for it. They love you. I know they love you. They love you even more. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Lots of recipes coming up. Happy New Year to all. Be happy. Be safe. Stay healthy. A la próxima. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.